All right, we have someone coming to pick up the couch. We're saying goodbye. <laughs> There we go, there's our new couch. I'm so excited. It is from Ashley Furniture. It is a Zeb couch with a queen sofa bed in the color quartz, if you guys are interested. It is very plush compared to the other one. Like, it is a lot more stiff, but I think it'll be great to break in because we've never had a brand new couch ever. So this is just so great. The mattress actually on the hide to bed part is really nice too, it's memory foam. I'm really happy with it. The color looks so good in here. I love it. I now have the new couch all situated. I am obsessed with the color. I'm so glad we found a couch in this color and it looks so good in the space. The pillows match really nicely. If you're wondering, these ones are from Target, the pink ones. And then this is actually just a pillow cover that I got from Indigo. Um, yeah, and it did not go with the other couch. So this works out perfectly. And then on the coffee table here, I did switch out our little... Well, it was a tray. I had a gold circular tray here that is actually something I got for Christmas decor and just kind of never removed. I also had that mirrored tray up here for a while, but that one's way too big for this space. But I did pick up this cutting board at home since uh, probably about a month ago, and I think it looks really nice. It doesn't really do the purpose of keeping everything in, but at least it's like a little situation. I don't know, it brightens everything up, looks really nice pretty happy with it and then over here i don't think i've shown you guys these things i got this pot on sale from indigo i have no idea what i'm going to put in it but i just i loved the speckled detailing and everything it's so cute and then i got this little candle i don't really know what it's called it's like a dome but i decided to put it over this joe malone candle that i got in london that i probably will never light you guys have seen <laughs> i have two nice fancy candles in my apartment and i probably will never light them because i just like them having having them for decor this one smells really good i guess the color is starting starting to turn though just because um you know i should probably use it but this scent is so nice and i love it so it kind of defeats the purpose it does like have a really nice scent even though it's not lit um but i don't know i just kind of like the look of this over top of it so that's the situation for now the frame here is from urban outfitters i think polaroids are kind of like blue tinted but I should switch those out. I think they're really cute though. And then that is a vase from Target as well. Yeah. And then just random. It doesn't look so good under there. So just look at that part. <laughs> and another decor news, I got these wicker like tall vases on the side of the road basically at my parents when we were visiting. I showed on Instagram, but I absolutely love them. There's two of them. This is the nicer of the two. And so I decided to grab my pampas grass that, um, was my first round of pampas grass. It doesn't look like normal pampas grass, and so I wanted to kind of munch it up and put it in a different location, and I think this looks really nice. Another thing I did share on Instagram, but if you guys have plants and you have bugs in your plants, I got these little sticky rod things from Amazon. I'll link them down below, but they were working really, really well. Sorry if you guys don't like bugs, but this area has always had bugs. Doesn't matter what plant I put here, and just so happens that they're still here and so I wanted to find a solution I've been using like a spray but it hasn't really been working and with this plant growing like tremendously when I got this plant from a friend um, it didn't have like any of these and it definitely didn't have that so it's growing quite fast which is amazing but I want to get rid of the bugs so these little things have been working really well they've only been in a couple days and it's already catching quite a few so I thought that was kind of a good find and something that actually works Hello friends! I just wanted to quickly pop on here and let you know that today I'm going to get my hair done and I'm so excited. It's so dark. Um, and I'm gonna go see Jordi at Opal Lounge and this is the first time I'm going to the new salon. I feel like this is so bright. 
Um, and so we're gonna go check it out. It's in Fort Langley, which is super cute. So yeah, I'm excited. I have to wear a mask, obviously, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm currently in the Starbucks drive-thru, just gonna pick up a coffee before I head out, but wanted to update you and give you a quick little before before I change it. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> It is July 22nd. It is my father's birthday. There's a lot of balloons behind me um, because we are surprising him. I told him I couldn't make it to his birthday this year. He was going on like a little golfing trip anyway. And then last weekend I kind of had a, a moment where I was like, no, I need to go. And because I feel like I've never missed one of my dad's birthdays. And so it just means a lot. And he always comes down for my birthday. So we wanted to make it special and kind of this was all very, very last minute, but we decided to come and surprise him. So I'm currently tracking my parents on find my phone or find my iPhone to make sure that we're ahead of schedule. I also called the hotel to see if we can get into their room early and all that stuff. So everything's like going smoothly so far and in place. We just stopped at the dollar store to quickly pick up some balloons. We got 21 balloons back here. So we're gonna go and decorate the hotel room. And um, yeah, I'm nervous. It feels like when you're a little kid and you're like, playing hide and go seek and like you haven't been found yet like that's the anxiousness that is inside of me right now because we've never done anything like this and I've never really like surprised anyone so hopefully it goes off hopefully he's actually surprised I think I, I don't think he knows but he's my dad and he probably has an inkling but anyway we'll see I'm so excited hopefully I can catch like the surprise on camera but I'm not putting any expectations on this because I have no idea how it's gonna go We also picked up a bunch of my dad's favorite snacks. Um, so I kind of wanted to like arrange it on the bed, all cute how they do at like PR events and stuff. Um, so it's like their own little mini bar. That's kind of cute. And then we have the little happy birthday balloon up top. And then I brought some more extra balloons and streamers and stuff from home in my happy birthday banner that I use for literally every occasion. I definitely didn't do it. You did it. You did it? <laughs> <laughs> 
There we go. Oh, that's cool. I was surprised. I had no freaking idea. Yeah, it was really good. Yes. Very nice. Yay. Cool. I'm glad. I really had like a thought that you had maybe an idea. You no. Didn't know these things, but not even not. close. Yay. No. Yay. Wasn't even thinking of. I wanted to come on here and include this clip at the end of the vlog because I know it was all over the place. I feel like I had been filming for this vlog for like the entire month, which is totally fine. Um, but I kind of just wanted to tie up the loose ends essentially. So the last thing you guys saw was the surprise from my dad, which went over so well. We only ended up staying one night um, over there. So we drove home the next morning, but it was just so nice to go out for dinner. Obviously everything was done super safely. I have visited my parents since this whole thing happened and stuff. So um, they knew and my mom knew I was coming so everything was done very safely I just wanted to like make sure you guys knew that because I don't want to be obviously promoting travel but going to see your family is kind of up there and things that are important right now and especially to me with all of this happening my parents don't exactly live far but um, I don't see them as often as I would like to so making the time to do these things when I have the free time um, and when Cody is still off work makes it really nice and I really enjoyed that and it's just like a priority now you know your priorities kind of shift and your mind changes when things like this in the world happen and other life events just make you realize what's actually important and making it for those special moments and those memories is definitely important to me so I wanted to make sure I did that but I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew that it was like a safe thing to do a couple other little life update things Things. I just haven't been working as much honestly because I worked so much in the few months at the beginning of all of this going down and so I've kind of taken a step back and you know put my YouTube on the back burner I'm not uploading as much which kind of sucks but I'm also taking the time to go outside and spend some time with friends and you know be able to do the social distancing activities outside while the weather is nice because it's not going to be in a couple months um, and so just kind of taking the time to actually go and enjoy summer and you know Cody has the time off so we're trying to do other things and also I'm back dancing so that's taking up a bit more time we're doing that differently it's like obviously everything's gonna be different there's a new normal we're social distancing we're in smaller groups but I am back in the studio which is really really nice and so yeah life has just been a little bit more busy on my personal side and so I haven't been picking up the vlog camera as much I still want to continue the vlogs I just don't know how frequent they will be but I really like filming these for you guys and connecting with you guys and being able to talk about my personal stuff like this um so yeah that's basically where I'm at that is enough chatting I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up because it really does help and support my channel and for those of you that watch these vlogs and watch to the end and just like watch all of my content, just know that I appreciate you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. I cannot thank you enough. I love you guys so much and I've been like just feeling so much love lately. Even if my videos don't get like the views they once did, which can be kind of hard. I just, I feel so great posting these and getting the few comments of like really awesome stuff from you guys. So it doesn't go unnoticed. I love you guys so much and I will chat with you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.